Hello everyone! Today we again have an episode about Brable's Gen Bug and Sigv6. In this episode we completely assemble and finish the salon. And of course we go out into the street and reveal the first impressions. And now we start assembling our panels in the doors. Now we are finishing the insides of our back door. You see, we have stainless steel parts. They are all polished like a mirror. Everything is exactly the same as the original. This part was also closed with the corner parts and of course stainless steel self-tapping screws. We made plugs because uh, the hinges will be apparently. We will glue them here because uh, you may need an access to them. Just turn them off and that's it. Those things are larger for locks. We made them ourselves from thick stainless steel. Rounded the corners, polished the part and everything is fine. When I bought the locks I couldn't find these parts and we had to make it ourselves. When I submitted request for this part they told me that they did not have it. And there was the same problem with the model. So, in the original there are details of cast iron, but I think this detail will look good. And of course all the bolts will be made of stainless steel, with conical caps. Well, here we are. We finished off our rear body. It was a difficult piece of work and the salon also padded us a little due to the fact that the car is old. We made the rear body completely from the zero. And in general everything is painted, primed, all boards are on the same level, everything is perfectly even, all stainless steel screws with their recess are exactly the same as the original. All corner parts, welds, etc. polished. Silent seals everything between the stainless steel and the side parts so that water does not flow there. We have finished with the back body, the door is already ready and the only part that is not from the factory is this shock absorber. Now I will tell you everything. If you have watched reviews of the original 6x6 genus plugins, you may know that the tailgate falls uncontrollably. And uh, I did not like it. And uh, we decided to install a shock absorber that would make the opening less destructive. You open it, it falls a little bit, and then the shock absorber works. And your door opens it smoothly and quietly. Since the door turned out to be heavy, all through the original one is heavy. We decided to do so. And now we are going to install the seats in the cabin. Well, guys, we installed our front seats in the salon. We altered the seats with Mercedes laser according to the one-in-one -one structure. Except uh, we changed the tailoring, but everything we saved like the original. 
All the electricity are already working, and we had no problems with it. We did not remove the fabric from the seats, but simply updated it, so that when a person sits down, the skin does not creak against the plastic. Behind the situation is different. I already told you that we have a BMW seat there, and there are a lot of electrics, and various air pumps and heating, and we wanted to connect Harrison and it turned it out to be not easy. But I will talk about this later. After we assembled the interior, ceiling, carpet, seats, we start installing the panels on the doors. First we glued the anti creak at the place of contact, we also picked up clips that hold it very well, but they are disposable. If you remove the panel once, you won't insert it on those clips, but they hold it very well. We were looking for them for a long time, but they cost very little. We checked all the electrics, everything works, put the panel in and screw it on. We didn't even need screws. You can know that all the panels have such funny screws, but since we had a hole, we had to buy screws and uh, screw it on. Well, now we proceed to chemical cleaning of the cabin. So, I got into the salon, and everything seems to be beautiful and clean, everything just fine. I will show you the whole salon on the street, it will be brighter there, and you can appreciate it. Everything seems to be fine, but looking at this string wheel you understand that it does not fit because of its old age. But since we plan to change this panel for 2013 style, we already bought a cool string wheel. We will have such a string wheel. This is a 63 AMG string wheel of 2017. Write in the comments whether it is cool. Guys, no matter how hard we try to keep the original front springs in order to keep the ride as smooth as possible, we did not succeed. I tried to keep the height one to one like the original, I even installed the special circles to raise uh, the front and align. Because all giant wagons have a front down slope and the rear up. The Sigma 6 does not have this, and we race it everything on an empty car, of course. All arch extenders have the same dimensions as the original. Our backside was perfect and our front was perfect. We finished the salon and the car went down, then all sorts of parts and the car went down again. We have already installed tuning spaces that are sold specially for g wagons, they are 3 or 4 cm inside, it first went up, then went down again, and and what did we do? We ordered the springs, they are slightly thicker than the original, and we immediately made them lower. We checked everything, I think that we will hit the first time. We will pull out all the rubber bands, and we send the springs for some blasting and powder painting. And we will install them. And the user will not have to worry that because of the passengers, car will be going down. And since there are four springs behind, he cannot go down in any way. So we close the issue with the springs. Those springs that we made to order are a little thicker than the original, and we just 
just guessed perfectly. They were taken to be sand blasted, repainted and now looks like new. Now we have 5mm higher in front of the original. I think with the first strip it will sit down a little and everything will be perfect. Well guys, the long awaited first trip. The brakes were adjusted, the wheels pumped it up, the pressure was checked and we can go. This is our salon. You have already seen the panels on the doors, I really like it. The back seats are from BMW. Those seats, in my opinion, should be from the factory. They fit in Sigma 6 under the very back wall and close the empty space. I'm sitting and from my knees to the seat there is a distance of 25 centimeters. The seat in front is moved to my height. Everything is very cool. We also connect the full functionality of this seat. Forward, backward, up, down, everything works. Now the backs. The kink of the back works perfectly. Also the tilt. Here we have a headrest. Not a very important thing. This is our memory, it also works. The seat heats in also works. There is also a pump, that is, you can pump air under the back. This is such a thing that anyone, some like it, some don't, but the point is that we made it. The engines were in poor condition, but we replaced them and everything began to work perfectly for us. On the other side, everything also works. Here we have a telephone. And the telephone itself is the one that shouldn't be here from a BMW. The armrest can be raised and there will be another full-fledged seat. Write in the comments if you like this seat or not. I like it. Now about the floor. We took the carpet from American limousines. Since we changed the floor in limousines and their carpet is perfect, we decided to use it here. So we had a large remnant of black carpet and it fits us perfectly inside. We put everything on, the only thing that we didn't touch the battery. There is a cover that sticks out a little and now we ordered a rug in Kiev for the style of sitting. There will be cubes and also the Rebus logo, as on the seats. Here we plan to install a cup holder and under it the Brabus Sigma 6700 logo. We laid the carpet perfectly. We also ordered three holds and they will be with Brabus inscription in white. And the seats can be completely reshaped. The car is very comfortable, you just uh, sit and relax at the same time. Who does not believe uh, and wants to become our client, come and see for yourself. This is not the Edgewagen that climbs on the road. This car rides perfectly smoothly, we haven't put a stabilizer in front yet. I plan to do it, because there are two axles in the back and they hold on fine, and the front still lacks a stabilizer. One more option. Two cup holders are moving out of the seats. You must admit that this is also fine. You can just sit and drink tea or coffee. 
Perhaps we will put the monitor here after we remake the panel. I already showed you that we bought the monitor like the original only on Android. Maybe we will install the monitor here and contact it with the front one. You just drive and enjoy the car. Well guys, I am in a great mood. I just drove and even reached 100 km per hour and did not hear any noise and howl. Now whoever says that Laplanders are bad, come to me and drive a normal car. I will completely destroy this myth. The speedometer works one to one, but an error of 2 or 3 km is possible at speed of 100 km per hour. There are no errors with the ABS, this will be dealt with in the next episode, I am finishing video, in the next episode we will show it again. Bye guys.